What's up, everybody? Um, hope everybody's having a great day. Welcome to another edition of Soap Opera Rundown. Um, I'm going to jump right into this. Phyllis. I know Phyllis is going to probably find a loophole and beat these charges from over 20 years ago. I get that. But it's so fucking fun watching her squirm. I loved every second of it. I, I hate how stupid Michael and Paul are being. Like, Michael talking about, oh, he realized, oh, Phyllis lied to me. No shit she lied to you. She lied to everybody, includes, including her dumbass husband. My, uh, Paul talking about something I can't. He acting like he's so shocked. Talking about he can't believe Phyllis would do something like this. It's Phyllis for crying out loud. The woman is crazy she called daisy crazy bitch please you ain't got daisy ain't got nothing on you phyllis is a narcissistic dingbat she's crazy trying to run around looking like a fucking stepford wife bitch go somewhere like the first wives club or something like that she ain't gonna sit her ass down fuck wrong with her nick gave her people talking about oh I hope Nick stands by her side. And why the fuck would Nick stand by her side? Maybe if she told him the truth a while ago, he even gave her an out today. He asked her, what the hell is going on with her? She still won't tell him the truth. Still lying to him. Say it by the damn phone when Michael called it. And it wasn't even urgent. I'm like, this is why she just gets the short end of the stick all the time. She's never truthful. She's always such a liar. I'm like, the bitch is dumb. Then people talking about, I hope Nick do leave her. Honestly, and Nick is just so dumb. Like, I'm like, Adam must got the really smart gene in the family. Like, seriously, on his mother's side. Because I'm like, seriously, these Newmans, other than Victor, are just dumb. She, I'm going to get back on Phyllis in a minute. Um, Paul Williams, I hope he do get out of this jam or whatever. But people keep saying Ronan was trying to railroad him or whatever like that. I don't think so, because Ronan, why would Ronan want to do that? But obviously, Ronan wanted him to be exonerated from this, obviously, because he wouldn't be telling the cops to keep digging everywhere to find that knife. If he doesn't need, if if he doesn't find the knife, it would help his case. So obviously, he's trying to help Paul, not hurt Paul. Um, Nina, she need to go sit down somewhere. I could care less about her character. She's irrelevant to me. I really don't care. She brings, she does nothing for me on this show. So she don't bring no drama. All she do is cry every time you see her. So she does nothing for me. Sorry for Nina Webster, you know, for Nina fans or whatever like that. But she does nothing for me personally. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, they, I hope they do find that knife or put this whole case to bed. What I want to know is why is the FBI working on this case? This is not a federal case. This is a local case. These cases between Daisy and Ricky, they're local. They're not federal crimes. So why I, I can understand why Ronan is there because Victor brought him back for that whole Abby debacle, but he should have left that that. I'm actually glad he's on the show because he's the only cop, I guess, on the show. They don't have any other detectives. Um, the scenes with some people say they don't know who they like better, who they like Harmony better with. Um, I like her better with Sarge, I think. I think Sarge. I think I like her better with Sarge. Reason why I say that is because... Because of Angie and Jesse on All My Children. Because that chemistry. People talking about she ain't got no chemistry with Sarge. How the hell is she ain't got no chemistry with Sarge when Sarge played her husband for 20 years on All My Children? So how she ain't got no chemistry with Sarge? He played Jesse Hubbard on All My Children. Okay, yeah, they're on a different show, different characters, but same people. So the chemistry is always going to be there. Because they're the same people who used to play different characters on another show who were married practically for 20 years. So obviously the chemistry is here. I don't want to see her with Neil. Neil, please, he's a waffler. He needs to be single for a while because he just jumped from woman to woman. He's like another Nick Newman, I swear to God. He need to be single for a little while. I'm tired of Neil. Um, 
But as far as her and Tucker, I do not want to see her with Tucker. And speaking of Tucker, um, him and Ashley, the scenes was pretty messed up. Them two deciding to get a divorce. Well, she wanting a divorce. Um, I'm glad they getting a divorce because ever since he married her, it's like she kind of emasculates him. So I don't like them together. It's like, um, it's like, um, Ashley, like she emasculates Tucker. Like he's ruthless in business. And it's like, hey, since he married her, it's like she don't like his business tactics and stuff like that. So she asked him not to do certain things or whatever. But I'm like, that's business. Business is business. He's not a billionaire for no reason. I'm like, look at Victor's tactics. I'm not saying Tucker's anywhere near like Victor, but business wise, he's a smart man. Tucker's a very smart person business wise. Like he didn't make all that money and that fortune from being a punk business person. He's a very savvy businessman. And I think I like business people like that. They're very savvy. But anyway, I'm glad that their marriage is over. But I really don't want the car I don't know what they're gonna do with the character of Ashley Abbott, but I know Elaine Davison is um going to days now. As far as I know, she's going I forgot what character I I forgot what character she's reprising the role of, but I know she's going back to Days of Our Lives now. Um, yeah, they could keep the character on the show, though. Just find another actress to play her. Hopefully. Um, hopefully they could find another actress to play Ashley Abbott, because I'm like, there's really no point in taking that character off the show, and this is a lame-ass way of writing her off by giving her a divorce to Tucker. That's a lame way to write her off. They could have found a better way or just replace the actress. It's soaps. They do it all the damn time. But um, anyway, I want to see Tucker get back to business, the ruthless businessman that he is. I want to see him get back to that Tucker, not the emasculated Tucker. Um, the scenes with the basketball court and stuff like that, Nick, Neil, and Sarge was cool. Um, I like the way Sarge hustled the shit out of them. That was so funny. And made a couple hundred dollars all front. More power to him. He made a lot of money off that basketball court hustle for an old man. He, he got a good shot. Um, Phyllis. Back to Phyllis. I hope they prosecute. They do something. Phyllis gets on my fucking nerves. I'm sick of Phyllis. I used to like her character until she got all sanctimonious and hypocritical and all of that. So I, Phyllis is on my shit list at this point. But she needs to go to prison. She needs to pay for her crimes. Don't matter how many years it was, statute of limitations, whatever. But I'm sure she's going to find a loophole. Anyway, I can't wait for tomorrow's episode. Um, but I do hope Nick leave her ass because I don't see him staying with her. Anyway. I'm going to jump off that and jump on B&B. &B. Bold and beautiful. Brooke. Oh my God, Brooke. Stop being such a fucking busybody. She Here she go talking about she don't want her daughter with somebody who has divided feelings, but yet you keep saying, oh, if they tell Hope the truth, she'll forgive him. Make up your mind. Do you want Hope with him or not? Make up your fucking mind. You keep saying, oh, I don't want her with somebody who got divided feelings. Well, then, shit, make up your mind. The fuck? Brooke, get on my damn nerves. It's it's good, though, that um Liam grew a backbone and told Taylor and Brooke to get out of his house. How's she gonna, because Steffi said she wanted to have a moment alone with Liam, Brooke gonna say no. I'm like, you ain't got no right to tell her she can't talk to Liam. Liam ain't your child. He's a grown man. That's his house. He can talk to Steffi alone if he want. Ain't nothing gonna happen. They just talk. Brooke, get on my nerves. She's such a little busybody. Don't she got a little wedding to plan or something like that with Ridge? Go plan. Go handle your business. Um. Anyway. Uh, Daisy. I sit. I like Thomas when he's with Caroline. But I, I'm starting to think the only reason why he got with her in the first place was to piss off Rick. So I want, I, I kind of see something brewing again between Thomas and Daisy because of the little looks that they keep giving each other. And the fact that um, 
Marcus hasn't set a wedding date yet, and they ha how long have they? To me, it seemed like they've been engaged for a while now. I don't really know how long um they've been engaged, but they do seem like they've been engaged for a while now. And I'm like, y'all still haven't set a date. I'm like, seriously. Now all of a sudden, he told me he want to get married right now. I'm like, motherfucker, can you specify when are you right now? What are you talking about? Today, tomorrow, next week? When? Set a date. What day? people these days i don't know but anyway um steffi like i said before steffi they should bring somebody new in for her because i'd rather see her with somebody different anyway liam ain't worth her time so i'd rather see her with somebody new um i think they should make the bold and the beautiful like an hour long i think i think they should because it be going by so quick, the 30 minutes, like it goes by so quick. Give it an hour. Matter of fact, I think they should keep it a half an hour. So that way, cause I'm tired of soaps getting canceled and all that stuff. So B and B is a good show. But anyway, um, Daisy, I think, I don't know. I think her and Marcus would be good together, but I don't want to see them get married. And she might have feelings for Thomas. Cause it's going to be a disaster in the end. So I rather her just let her feelings be known. Cause I see the little eyes that she be making at Thomas and that he be making at her. And I'm not liking where this is going. So hopefully they figure it out. Hopefully. Cause I do not want to see another disaster marriage. Taylor and Brooke, seriously, they need to stay out their kids' love life. Because they love life. They ain't got no harmony in their own damn love life. So why are y'all in y'all kids' love life? Mind your business. They're grown. All them kids are in their 20s on the show and stuff like that. So mind your business. Focus on y'all love life. Ain't Taylor still with Thorn? Focus on your love life. Stop focusing on theirs. Brooke keep acting like her daughter is some shy teenager. She's a grown woman. Anyway, I can't wait for tomorrow's episode neither. Um, hit me up with comments and stuff about what y'all think. I'm out. I'll see everybody later for my general hospital review. See y'all later, which is in an hour. See y'all later.